Shalom everybody. Today guys, I want to show you how science proves that Jesus Christ, Yeshua, is the Son of God. Angel Gabriel and told her that she will have a son and it will be an immaculate conception that will take place and she will be a virgin and she will give birth to Jesus Christ. I want to show you now how science proves that he is the Son of God. You might want to take a look at this. Now in this video you see the reproduction of a human being and we all know human anatomy 101 that it takes two to tango and to create life. A male seed and a female seed. Okay you follow me so far. The male seed carries something that the female seed does not. What's the one thing that the male seed carries that the female seed never carried, never has carried, and never will carry? It is the blood that will be put in to this child. Sperm carries the father's blood. That is human anatomy 101. We all have the blood from our fathers. Even during a nine month gestation period, the blood of the mother never ever mixes with the baby. Yes, the mother sends the baby food and nutrients through her stomach, but her blood never, ever mixes with the baby because it's the blood that comes from the father. Now, look at this. You see that? This is a chicken egg. Just to prove my point. All right? This is an egg. And what I'm doing here, this is an illustration of a seed of a woman, a completely developed seed of a woman. All right, I know it's a chicken egg, but the same concept in a woman. Completely developed, okay? Do you see any blood in this egg? No, there's never any blood in this egg. This is what the woman seed gives to the embryo, to the baby, okay? Now, if this seed in its early development was united with the seed of a male chicken, rooster, okay, what would you have? You would have this. A baby chick does not develop in the womb of the female chicken without the male donor. If there is no blood introduced to this egg, then there will be no life. So if Jesus does not have a biological father here on the earth because he was born of a virgin, and the seed that impregnated Mary to bring forth Jesus came from God, what does that make God? That makes God the father of Jesus Christ. And if God is the father of Jesus Christ, what does that make Jesus? That's right. The Son of God. This says that Jesus was born of a virgin. That's right. Which means he had no earthly father. Hmm. That's right. Which means if he had no earthly father, where did his blood come from? If he was born of a virgin and he had no earthly father, his father was God. And guess what that makes him? Son of God. So just using a little bit of logic there, and then the demons said he was the son of God and the people he healed said he was the son of God and Peter declared him to be the son of God and the angel Gabriel declared him to be the son of God and it was God himself that said, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. Of how that seed got there, there had to be a seed that was placed in this egg. It was his seed and it was an immaculate conception how it got placed inside that egg. Because the name of Yeshua means God will save or God is salvation. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. No one gets redeemed except through his blood. So with that being said, Jesus is the Son of God, the Son of Yahweh in heaven. As I went down in the river to pray, Studying about that good old way.